Good day! In this video, we are going to teach you how to do a simple math magic trick that can really impress your student as well as your friend. So get ready your calculator and we are going to start the magic trick. We're going to do two of this and you can see how magical this trick is going to be. So now you are going to choose a three digit number means you, there will be no repeated numbers. For example, you can't choose 4, 2, 2. It must be all different numbers. And the first number cannot be a 0. So if 0, 2, 9, it doesn't work. 0, 4, 4, it doesn't work. It has to be a number that more than 0 in the first digit. And now, put that number in the calculator. Okay, the next step, you need to remember the number because you need to use that number in step 4. Have you done that? So in everything you've done, Everything you do, sorry, you have to put the equal or the execute button for it to work. Okay, so you, you have your number now? Great, we are going to start the trick now. You put the number in the calculator. Now, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to multiply. Okay, let's uh, get a pen here. Okay, remember, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to multiply by 2. Okay, you have done that. Make sure you press the execute button. And the next step, 3, you are going to multiply by 5. Got it so far. You still have the number? Yes. Now look at the number and you are going to divide the number you chose in step one. You got it? Great. Now the last step you're going to do, you are going to minus three, the result of minus three and make sure you have the calculator with you, the, the execute button and your answer, abacadabra, is going to be seven. Am I right? Tell me whether I'm right because this is the first time I'm doing this trick. Okay, great. Now we are going to do the same trick, but with different numbers. Okay, so we give a new piece of paper. Again, you are going to choose any three-digit number. It cannot be a repeated number. It means that you cannot have 144 or 855. It has to be, this, all the three numbers must be different. And the first digit cannot be zero. Okay, got it? Now, put them in your calculator. Remember your numbers again. Put on a piece of paper. Remember the number because you need that again in step four. This time, we're going to do something different, okay? So we are first going to multiply the number in the calculator by 40. Have you done that? Great. Make sure you press the execute button. Now, the next step, you're going to multiply by 2.5. Have you got, got that? Okay, now you have a big number now. You are going to divide the number in your calculator by the number you chose in step one. Got it? Great. Now we are going to do step five and are going to review your answers in step six. The next step, you are going to minus 31 from the answer. Got it so far? Okay. Now I back a driver again and the answer is going to be everyone's favorite number is going to be 69. Tell me I'm right. Leave your comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone. Have a good day.